this is a quick update the Cardinal Pilot and uh, Harrison. How's it going? Uh, basically, we're ferrying a uh, PA28 180 out to uh, LAX, California. So it's a lot of fun. It started this morning. Actually, the trip was supposed to happen like a week ago, and then it's supposed to happen next week. And then yesterday, it decided it was going to happen this morning. Well, that was. But here we are. We had to dodge some weather getting out there. There was like a, uh, a dry line that was going to pop up, and they were expecting really bad storms. So we had to boogie out at like 10:45 or 11 in the morning. And we knew there was going to be a lot of wind, but we didn't realize how much wind it actually be. I flight planned it for like 20, 25 knots ad wind. Oh my gosh, we had like 40, 45 knots ad wind. So we took off out of Riverside and we started going west and we came up on the IFR weather. So we decided to land in Cushing, get some fuel, so we'd have full tanks to go up and over the IFR, VFR, over the top. So that's what we did. We went all the way from there to Dalhart. What was our average ground speed? About. 70 to 80, I was saying. Yeah, say yeah. 70 to 80 indicating probably, uh, so what, 110, 112, yeah. something like that. Yeah, so a huge headwind. That was horrible. But we landed in Dalhart. The wind was like 30 knots. It smelled like cow poo. <laughs> like, the second we opened the door, I mean, it just spotted about 30 slaughterhouses getting out there. And I can only imagine, that was just within our field of view, which was like, 10, 15 miles. So, oh my gosh, I didn't realize how many of those were out there. But we got in to Dalhart, everything went great, got some fuel. FBO, wow, super nice. You would never guess. You it would never, nice. <laughs> ever guess how nice this was. It was incredible. They even had a restaurant in there, but it was closed. We had to go into the town and eat. We ended up going to Subway just because it was like a safe thing. We took off out of Dalhart. And we started flying to Albuquerque. It was supposed to be an hour and a half flight. It took, what, two and a half hours? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Almost under three, just under three. Just under three. <laughs> I will say we did practice one ILS coming in just to make sure that uh, everything was good to go because we might go IFR into LAX. I think we are going to go IFR into LAX just to make things a little bit easier on everybody. It took us two and a half hours to crest the mountain there at Albuquerque. It's supposed to take an hour and a half. We were doing, I think, at one point, I saw 70 over the ground. Average was probably, yeah, probably 80. Yeah. 78, 80. Same. Gosh, so bad. But there's something that happened to us. Like, we were flying along, and I mean the literal nowhere. You can't see a town, a house, a city, a, a tower, civilization, anywhere. <laughs> anywhere within we could see probably 40 miles and we come up on this little bitty private airport right not really that little <laughs> not it's... little harrison has been doing research <laughs> on it and it's blowing my mind blowing his mind so i'll let him explain to you what in the world we came across out there we're coming along and like wilson said there's absolutely nothing out there and we come across this little airport called San Miguel Airport. It's got a 5,600 foot uh, paved runway with one little hangar. Get back to, um, back into Albuquerque. We're at, eating at Buffalo Wild Wings and we start, I start to do some research on this airport. Supposedly this uh, airport is called Termentina Base. It's one of few uh, airports owned by the Church of Scientology. And if you look it up, it is uh, very, very strange. I guess it's a very highly secure area. They even have their um, symbol. I don't know if you can see Scientology symbol there. And supposedly they have a vault pay, uh, cut into the mountain where they keep all their like scrolls and scriptures. It is a very odd, spooky thing that we found, I think. is the last thing I would expect to find at that airport. And I mean, it was literally in the middle of nowhere. It both sh it shocked us both. I mean, it's a huge, huge runway out there on top of a mesa, like a little plateau with one hangar. And it caught our eye because we were like, okay, cool, that's the first airport within like 60 miles that we've seen. And we passed like one or two like grass strips, but this was literally a huge paved runway out here. After looking it up, that's pretty freaky. What in the world is that doing in the middle of nowhere? I don't think there was a road to it. I think you have to fly in, and that's the only way you can get to it. <laughs> so you know, like, here comes this little Cherokee passing by at 70 knots. They were definitely watching us pass by. Like, there's no way they weren't. We went like four miles from it or something. As freaky as that is, that was one of our experiences, along with 
when we left, no, prior to getting to Dalhart, we got into like the wind zone, and it was probably 40, 45 knot winds. I don't even know what the surface was, but there was blowing dust below us, and we actually saw like an EF zero, basically a, a dust NATO, and it was huge. We could see it for 15 miles, maybe even a little bit farther away than that. They were spinning up all over, but one in particular had a full tornado shape and went up several hundred feet. That was really, really cool. A lot of farmers' fields were blown away. It looked like the dust bowl was very odd. Yeah, then we actually flew through what we thought was a rain, like a little shower of rain, and we get there and we realize that there's no rain. It was a rolling thing of dust, just like uh, something out of the dust bowl. Being that we have two pilots, we could share the workload. I could take it easy, he could take it easy, I could snap a picture if I needed to, or video, or whatever. And that made it a lot of fun, because this ferry flight out there, we're gonna be able to bring the entire thing to you. Mm -hmm. So, stay tuned. Tomorrow we're gonna depart Albuquerque for Flagstaff, Arizona. We're gonna loop around the Grand Canyon. And then we're going to go back down to LAX, and we're going to go into LAX IFR. So stay tuned. We have a lot of really, really cool stuff coming up, and we'll see you guys soon.